between the lines. Three, two, one, go! Let's see if Wild Alliance is going to bring this one back to go to three during the sandstorm period. We've got Team Taters lining up on that Red Alliance rocket, placing a cargo panel for two points on red. Blue Alliance also has one hatch panel have placed successfully by Ramtech on blue. These teams going to be neck and neck coming out of the sandstorm period. Now that that's cleared up, Red Blue Alliance does take the early lead. One more hatch panel has been placed by Ramtech on the Blue Alliance rocket. Shark attack on the Blue Alliance side. Their partners, they were grabbing more hatch panels. Going to work on the other rocket on that Blue Alliance side. Bare metal on red. Trying to push past the defense that's coming at them from the Highlanders. Highlanders trying to block access to the Red Alliance rocket. They're doing a pretty good job so far. It looks like Bare Metal is going to switch tactics and cover up the hatch panel on that Red Alliance cargo ship instead. They're now headed back for one more hatch panel. Meanwhile, Team Taters has had no defense against them on the Red Alliance. They've got four hatch panels on the Red Alliance rocket so far. They're going to go for one more up on level three. Shark attack on blue, continuing to work on hatch panels for that Blue Alliance rocket. That's the second hatch panel now going in place for the Blue Alliance from the Shark attack team. Ramtech getting past the defense coming in from Jaguar Robotics. Ramtech looking for some ha hatch panels or some cargo over the loading zone. Looks like they're going to grab a hatch panel to work on level two of the Blue Alliance rocket. But still with 75 seconds remaining, here comes Tater. Team Tater's on the Red Alliance, placing a piece of cargo in for three more points on the Red Alliance side. Looks like Bare Metal's been successful. They have two hatch panels on level two of that Red Alliance rocket so far. Defense coming in from Jaguar Robotics, blocking both Blue Alliance robots right now. Both Blue Alliance robots trying to make their way to that same side of the Blue Alliance cargo ship and rocket. And Jaguar Robotics preventing access right now. Bare Metal on the Red Alliance, looking to get some cargo placed, and they place that cargo in the cargo ship for the Red Alliance, bringing the Red Alliance up to a leading score of 67. And here comes Team Taters with more points scored in the Red Alliance rocket. Only need one more piece of cargo until it's ready for liftoff. That's a completely filled rocket now for the Red Alliance. Team minus 27 seconds remaining. Red Alliance in the lead, looking like they're going to want to take it to three. Can Blue Alliance come back here in the final 20 seconds? We still have enough points that climbing on the half could make a difference. Looks like Team Taters going for one last piece of cargo. Meanwhile, their partners, Bare Metal, are looking to line up on level three, along with their partners, Jaguar Robotics, going for level two on red. Over on blue, we've got Shark Attack on their way up to level three, lifting themselves up with five seconds remaining. Looks like they're going to get it for 12 points. We got Ram Tech on blue, as well as Highlanders, both making it to level two on the blue line side. On the red, we have one robot on each level of the half at the end of the match. Let's stand by. 103, and Blue Alliance with a score of 82. That's one match with a victory for each alliance in this semifinal matchup. So we'll be going to a tiebreaker round between our number one and number five alliances here in a few minutes.